hope you're all well. I hope it's lovely wherever you are. Uh, it's a bit dull in Devon, um, in the UK. I think it might brighten up later, but um, we're having a normal, changeable summer where one day it's dull, next day it's pouring down with rain, next day it's 25 degrees for a day or two, then it's cold for a day or two, and it's just typical British weather, really. Uh, if we get two weeks of um, continuous sunshine, we always think, oh, well, there's our summer. <laughs> oh. So uh, I often think that uh, it would be lovely to live in hotter climes. And then I listen to some of the temperatures, like in America and things, and I think, oh, my goodness, how do people survive in those temperatures? Because, you know, 25 which to me is roasting, and to most of the UK, we, you know, we think that's roasting hot. And um, that's, some people say that's cold. And I'm like, how can you possibly be cold? And then when you get rid of these really high temperatures, I think to myself, how do you survive in that? Why don't you want to, like, shrivel up, like, a, you know, from dehydration? <laughs> so I'm not um, focusing on the toddlers today. I just thought they looked so cute sat there. Uh, I'm going to actually uh, see if I can pan down now without uh, having to change too much and do it reasonably smoothly. There we are. We're going to change Narnia. There she is. So I'll just tighten up my tripod. There we go. It always moves a little bit more when I stop. And I'll just make her very slightly smaller so you can see what we're doing a little bit better. There you are. Don't you look cute in this romper? This is the one from the haul yesterday. Uh, one of my bargains. I love it on her. The um, scarf type uh, headband was um, too big. So I had to um, fold it over a few times and make it smaller. But um, today I'm going to um, try this on her. So this is a lovely, um, it's more like a play suit than a romper, isn't it? There you go. They're gorgeous. I really like the um, detail at the bottom of the legs. And there are actually buttonholes to go with that um, button. It's not just sewn on there for decoration. So uh, I just get my trusty little scissors. I always keep them handy on um, the top of my set of drawers in my uh, makeup storage thingy so that uh, they're handy for cutting things and as I was saying the other day uh, putting them in there for the baby's things when I change them because I find it easier to change them on the bed because uh, it's higher up um, and I got more space I can put the clothes down next to them take the clothes off and put them one side that kind of a thing um, but I've actually found them useful to uh, keep in the bedroom for when um, we get new clothes and things you can just take the labels off so I'll just uh, undo this, ready. Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do today. We spent all yesterday afternoon uh, making a Lego set up for Tegan. Um, her mum had got it delivered from Amazon. And, um, oh, it's lovely. It's such a cute little house. I did put a, oh, this um, romper. I thought it would be poppers, but it's actually buttons all the way up. So it might take me a second to undo it. There we go, not too bad. Oh, there's only about half a dozen buttons, so it'd be okay. There you go. Yeah, hey, that's why I had poppers on the no buttons on the corners then, isn't it? And it wasn't all poppers. And it's buttons on the back too, so I quite like that. Um yeah, she's got a headband as well. So that's um nice because that will match. And this one's got poppers, definitely, I know that. I'm just going to have to bring her over a little bit because I can't reach. I'll just check where she is for you. Just move over a little bit. I just need her a bit nearer. She was a bit far over in the middle of the bed and I couldn't reach properly around the tripod. <laughs> I haven't got anywhere in here that I could put the tripod up. Sometimes I think I'd like to um, be on the video myself. Um, obviously not when Tegan's here, but I'd like to be on the video myself. But um, I haven't got anywhere to really put the tripod, um, like up on a unit or anything like that, where you could really see. 
but um, it might be something that uh, I might look into in the future because sometimes it's just nice to see the person that you're um, listening to and um, and then in the com you know when you have the comments it's like as if you're talking to the person isn't it um, you can see the problem I have with um, Narnia's hair there actually this hair is really fluffy cotton woolly and whenever you lay she lays down it all goes like that bless her so it's a constant job of um, you know uh, uh, brushing it up and um, fussing with it but I do like it it's lovely hair um, and I do have to still do some more rooting at the back um, her head is still isn't actually sealed yet, but I just uh, have another. First of all, the um, mohair that I needed to, oops, sorry, not the tripod, wasn't available. So I thought, that's okay, I'll just wait. So it matches. It's fine, I'm not bothered. If the back of her head had been bald, I would have just left it for now. Um, but I did manage to put a thin layer across, just to, so she didn't look like a little monk. <laughs> oh, I've said it. I don't know how many times I've said it. Um, but uh, I'm trying to do Holly's challenge, Holly Church's challenge, not to say the L word. <laughs> and uh, I don't know if I said it before because I was going to go straight through the video and then watch it back afterwards. And then, oh, you can't see it, can you? And then see if I said it, well, I knew I would, I thought I would, or how many times I said it, that kind of a thing. Uh, but I know I said it then. <laughs> Oh my goodness, these buttons are so fussy. Because you've got to push it through upside down. Because it's like a um, a quilt cover. Oh my goodness, I think that's okay. It's not too bad, but I wouldn't like to try and do that on a wriggling baby. There you go. Isn't this just lovely? I really like this. Um, I have to leave her vest underneath because she's got three quarter arms oh look at that that is so cute that's really lovely I'll just uh, turn her around and do the buttons there you go there you are you look adorable oh look at that that is the cutest thing I really like that and I think I'll give her hair a little spray I just keep um, an old detangling spray bottle from their grandchildren because the the girls well only one now has really long hair, um, which is Evie, yours is longer. But uh, they all used to have hair down past their bottoms, down to the top of their thighs. So um, when they stayed with Nan, every morning was a detangling session. But um, Tegan and her cousin Izzy both had their long hair cut off to just touching their shoulders um, and get donated it to charity for um, children's cancer. So uh, that was, I was really proud of them then. And their hair was really long, as I say. It was down past their bottoms and uh, going down their thighs. And they'd had long hair ever since they were toddlers. As soon as it grew, it was grown long. Um, the same as all my girls were. And um, they looked absolutely so grown up when they had it cut. They looked so different, but they were both so proud. Ah, uh, there you go. Oh, look at that. That is so cute, isn't it? Let's have a look at her properly now. Look where I've just discarded her romper. <laughs> it's hard to concentrate on everything, isn't it? Um, normally, I have Tegan with me. And as well as uh, keeping Nanny on her toes, because I don't know what she's going to say next or do next, um, she'll also watch out for things and it makes you lazy. Because, uh, <laughs> look at that, because you sort of, you don't realise if you almost expect it, don't you? Um, not exactly expect it, but you know what I mean, you're, you're, um, she's always there, bless her, in tune with Nanny and uh, doing all these different things. So there you go. So... I totally failed Holly, <laughs> but I did try. Um, I don't know how many times I said it. I know I definitely said it once, um, but uh, when I upload it now, I'll listen to it back and then I'll know. So let's have a look at her. Doesn't she look amazing?
just look at that absolutely gorgeous so uh, thank you all for watching um, I hope you enjoyed seeing Narnia have a little change today and I hope you all have a lovely lovely weekend take care everyone stay safe and well lots of love bye